really the value that the RPA Center of Excellence team has and um, being able to, the success of an RPA implementation is really dependent on, you know, the properly defined business plans, like I had discussed, and really looking at how to scale it, look at the maintenance, the ongoing um, continuous improvement, and how it's very important and um, critical to the success of an RPA implementation. Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of Ingatika's interview series. I'm your host, Anshti Kaur, and we're really glad to have you join us today. And today we have Rebecca Hughes, Intelligent Automation Enthusiast, RPA, and a Business Analyst on our show. Welcome, Rebecca. Hi, yeah, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to um, go through with on this podcast, and thank you for the invitation. Thank you. The Ingatika interview series is a powerhouse of insights from the industry experts and influencers from around the world, a platform that provides the latest news on artificial intelligence, automation, and technologies that will help you grow your business. Come be a part of our community, learn, share, and grow with us. So Rebecca, I have a few questions for you. What are the main challenges of RPA implementation? Yeah, so there are a wide variety of challenges when it comes to the implementation of RPA for an organization. Um, I'll go over a couple here. So one of them being kind of the shortage of skilled resources. So when you're implementing an RPA project, allocation of those resources are going to be needed for the implementation. So such as the software, employees, all in that realm. So this poses a threat to other areas of the business, which Companies may then have to look at, you know, the return on investments and costs, and this is very important. So as when defining the business plans, you want to make sure to kind of define that return on investment and, you know, look at all of those different aspects for the business. Um, And then another going into my other, my next couple of challenges. So then this goes into the challenge of automating end-to-end use cases. So when you're looking at an automation, A lot of times companies are going to be thinking that this is going to be a one-time fix. There's not going to be anything that is else that's going to be needed. However, a lot of them, a lot of projects can have that complexity factor with it. And then this could require additional technology tools such as machine learning algorithms, OCR engines, and other additional technologies that are going to potentially add additional costs that need to be accounted for when you know, defining, you know, the RPA implementation and taking this into perspective. Um, Also, another challenge is like the lack of required support from business. So for an RPA project to be successful, it is important that the business use cases are provided with the necessary workflow diagrams and any potential workarounds for, you know, failure scenarios and anything that would cause any mitigation of the project of success. So making sure that the business um, is in support of it, there is proper diagrams and business plans in place and strategic uh, plans that align with the business's objectives. And this will require a lot of planning and pre-steps, which is very important to the success of the implementation. Um, And then lastly, I'll go into Um, or I'll add two more challenges, but this kind of leads into the vaguely defined business plans. So the less detail and the less scenarios that are left out of that business plan, such as those failures or potential need for machine learning or OCR engines, without any of these um, defined in the business plans and how the workaround would go and a team in place that would handle it, looking at different time zones, where are your teams located? Um, Is there someone to handle a potential failure? Um, So making sure those are all really defined and properly defined in that strategic plan. And then this goes into my last question or my last um, challenge would be the lack of proper team structure. So dedicated teams must need in defined roles that surround the center of excellence RPA team to meet those expected standards um, and having that aligned with the business plans. And so that leads to a lot of the challenges that I've read and researched about and kind of even noticed in a potential of, you know, trying to implement in my organization and definitely poses a very great, um, you know, thing to take in consideration for companies when they're looking at implementing RPA. 
Right. So, uh, you mentioned the center center of excellence team, right? So, what is the center of excellence team? Yes. So, I'll kind of go into just a broad overview. So, in, even in today's world, the rate at which chain things that change are astounding. So, technology's evolution is unstoppable, and business uh, businesses must be prepared to address those evolving customer expectations and differentiate themselves by providing solutions that demonstrate a deep understanding of domain and technology. That thus, it is critical for businesses to establish themselves as incubators of innovation with the ability to constantly innovate and fail quickly. That's what a center of excellence team can be effective for. So an RPA center of excellence team or center of excellence team is a dedicated cross-functional team responsible for identifying and deploying automated processes enterprise-wide. So at the core, COEs consolidate and harmonize automation initiatives for the entire business, ensuring that you're meeting your RPA implementation's business objectives. And thus, in a short summary of the team, they are focused on the RPA project. This is a center of excellence, which has all of the experts that are within this RPA field, or let's say a different realm, thinking of it as a center of excellence team as a whole. There could be sales center of excellence. There's a multiple different variety of them, but for RPA specifically, it's focused on the RPA, defining best practices, um, being able to distribute the information across the enterprise to ensure that automations are drivers for key business objectives. Right. So oh, like this is the value of an RPA uh, center of excellence team, right? So how do we build an RPA uh, C, like center of excellence team and what are the steps that need to be taken for that? Yeah. So how to build them? You firstly want to define the team. So the most basic RPA CO team should have a business analyst or a business process manager. So these are the subject matter experts or they're working with subject matter experts that are defining the processes clearly defining them and making sure that they're properly structured so they can communicate with the RPA developers. Um, and that also they're responsible for identifying other additional automation opportunities, prioritizing them and creating those process um, maps. Um, there's also a solution architect that needs to be involved in an RPA developer. So at the very minimum, those are would be you know, the definitions of the team and what you would want to start with the team. From there, you can obviously build it, but those are the three essential people that would be needed in a team. The second would be defining a governance model. So determining the process for, the process for identifying, assessing, validating, and prioritizing RPA opportunities. And then templates and guidelines are needed to standardize how automation work is designed communicated and developed so that best practices are followed and lessons learned can be implemented to contribute to the continuous improvement and de-risk operations. And so the RPA COE's governance model determines change man management strategy. This is a critical component of automation that can either increase RPA downtime or minimize it when done right. And then thirdly, define the tools that will make up your automation tool chain. So there's a wide variety of automation tools out there, but you wanna make sure that your organization defines uh, the right solutions that are compatible with your software or anything that you're using within your company, making sure to promote that enterprise wide so it is consistent and aligned with everything that the organization might be using. And so making sure that everything is aligned there. And that is really a main, um, the main three steps that are needed when building it and the steps really to focus on when starting. Right. So like, are there any other soundbites that you would like to share with the audience? Um, no, um, I guess from there, I guess the main objective that I would really like to point out is really the value that the RPA Center of Excellence team has and um, being able to, the success of an RPA implementation is really dependent on, you know, the properly defined business plans, like I had discussed, and really looking at how to scale it, look at the maintenance, the ongoing um, continuous improvement, 
and how it's very important and um, critical to the success of an RPA implementation. Right. So like RPA, COED is like really important and they're really crucial for, you know, uh, it's like a really crucial team to have, right? Absolutely. Yes. I'm sure that's great. So thank you so much for sharing your valuable insights with us. For more content, subscribe to Engati and tap the bell icon to access to exclusive content from thought leaders from around the globe. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you with a new expert soon.